Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. A wheel of moment of inertia 10 kg meter square rotates at the rate of 10 revolution per minute. Find the work done in increasing its speed 5 times of its initial value. This question is related to the work energy theorem and rotational motion. Okay. So here, first we know that we have to find out the work done. And we know that very well, work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. Here, change in kinetic energy. Okay. And what is the relation of linear kinetic energy and angular kinetic energy or rotational kinetic energy? That is uh, linear kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 i omega square. Okay. So, therefore, in this question, we have to using this concept. In this question, we have given that frequency 10 revolution per minute. Convert into second, that is 10 revolution per minute convert into second that is uh, 6 divided by 60 then we get 1 by 6 revolution per second and now what is the relation of angular velocity and this is frequency we know that very well 2 pi nu so 2 pi substitute this value 1 by 6 2 1 are 2 2 3 are 6 that is pi by 2 let this uh, uh, angular velocity consider omega 1 but in the question we have given that is final angular velocity is 5 times of initial. It means 5 into pi by 3 that is 5 pi by 3 radian per second. Okay. So, it is omega 2. Now, by using work energy theorem, yeah, we know that very well work is equal to change in kinetic energy. Or it can, it can be written as change in rotational kinetic energy because they are already directly equal kinetic energy equal to rotational kinetic energy. Here it can be written as so therefore 1 by 2 mv square can be written as 1 by 2 i omega square. So here we have using this concept. So work equal to 1 by 2 i omega 2 square 1 by 2 i omega 1 square. Now i get common and 1 by 2 get common omega 2 square minus omega 1 square. What is the value of i? Means moment of inertia that is given 10 and uh, omega 2 5 pi by 3 whole square pi by 3 whole square. 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10 that is 5 and 25 pi square by 9 pi square by 9. Okay, so here 5 and 25 minus 1 that is 24 pi square by 9. After solving this value, we will get 131 point joule. But uh, if we have calculate approximately, so pi square can be written as 10. Okay. So, 5 25 into 10 that is uh, 249, 3 3 is a 9 and 3 is a 24. So, here 400 by 3 then approximately value 3 ones are 3 that is 133.3 joule our approximate calculation and if you have to calculate the actual value that is 131.0 joule i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success then i will consider myself lucky thank you once again Take care. Bye-bye.